Hello, Dream Team. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people, Dream Team. Welcome to another incredible installment of Here's a Thought with the Max. My name is Lerato Macheta. This is not Here's a Thought. I'm sorry. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people, Dream Team. Welcome to another installment of Life is But a Dream with the Max. My name is Lerato Macheta. And I am Petula Macheta. We are so busy doing so much. I don't know what we're doing half the time. Uh, and people are probably just like, what is the difference between here is a thought, life is but a dream? What is the difference? The difference is that here is a thought is our podcast offering. That's right. And life is but a dream is the overall um, channel Family. where we have candid sit downs yeah. family vlogs and so forth and so for on. sure yeah all right if you haven't done so yet please remember to like subscribe comment share turn on that notification bell to know every single time we upload a new installment yeah and i wanted to say guys please man maybe mr max Ubalela Kapil. subscribe okay. man <laughs> subscribe guys wait what are the benefits of subscribing i have no idea guys when the fa <laughs> the benefits are that you know when the family grows yeah. Obviously, the channel grows. And obviously, it also contributes to uh, views. It contributes to... It also gives us credibility, right? For it sure. also contributes to... Does it contribute to essence? Yes. Our earning, our earning capability. We need it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for that reason alone, guys, just subscribe. You understand? Please subscribe and turn on your notifications. You see, today we're coming to you on a random Sunday, mm. so you won't know when we are coming because we are just yeah. Listen, so turn yeah. on your notification bell, guys, because we're not going to tell you what time we're dropping a new video. And for anybody who's confused, you're on the right channel. Um, yes, <laughs> we don't have a. A title sequence now and whatever. <laughs> this is the other thing yes, that we do. Yeah. So just look at the faces. We are not cloned, guys. No, so we're not. You're on the right channel. Now you're gonna now people, you're gonna be showing right? your now you're gonna be showing your friend like, oh I have to show you this channel. <laughs> no, this is not them. There's another you're and the, you're we, the right are, place. we are dropping a here's a thought uh, installment on Tuesday. Yes. With another amazing couple. So yes. stay tuned. Thank you so much for the uh, reception, you mm. know, the the grace you know, in which you received the installment, yeah, Cabello and uh, Mojale. Um, I thought it was such a refreshing installment. But before we get into the recap, I just wanted to give them sort of a background as to how we got to this point of actually having a new series of Here's a Thought. Mm. <laughs> you said, I wanted, before we get into it, I wanted to give them... Give them. Well, okay, okay. All right, so let's go back a little bit. Um, yeah. All right, my wife and I got to a place where we were really questioning the purpose of this channel yeah. and we're really questioning the purpose of what it is that we were doing. We're questioning whether it had as much value as it once had, yeah. whether it was still as impactful as it once was. And I think the the general answer to all of those questions was, we're not on it. Mm. And we knew two things. Number one, we knew that we needed to take a step away so that we could get some perspective. And we knew that we needed to be on the same page when we yeah. came back because we weren't on the same page. And so that going away was a really incredible time because what it did was it removed us from the channel and it gave us perspective as to how much it meant to us yeah number one and um yeah and and how and how important and imp impactful it was so yeah. that was the first thing um and the second thing was you know what let's do whatever it takes to make sure that we find synergy um so that we can move forward and mm -hmm. let's throw our all into it because we're just like you know what this thing is worth it and i think it was a good thing that we took a break i, I think, think it was so. a good thing that we took a step back no, I agree. and and so when we came back we came with we were just aligned man and it was like mm -hmm. yo if we gotta put all put however much money into it then yeah. let's do it if we, if we're gonna not sleep let's do it if we're gonna you know let's do it yeah and so that's kind of how we then came up with with this new season yeah and i think also babe you know you can get to a point where you're sort of disillusioned also mm. about really what certain things mean to you, yeah. right? And I think for us, also in this game of numbers, of views, of subscriptions, sometimes you can get disillusioned and discouraged because you're like, mm. ah, 
we're putting out content all yeah. the time and the channel is not growing why is the channel not growing and so forth and so on and you forget about the bigger purpose you forget about why, your why yeah why is it that we do and you know sometimes we have these nice these nice um words where we say yeah even if there's one person out there watching <laughs> yeah yeah if, and but that's how it should be that's how right? i feel but because yeah. but because we are people we are fallible we have sometimes we have you know needs and wants that are outside god's purpose for what he's trying to do you know in our lives we get discouraged right i think sorry oh, please like, finish oh yeah sorry. <laughs> no i wasn't done sorry guys thank you go ahead baby <laughs> Um, I hope I have fallible. 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 Okay, now I think I was done with that thought, but I loved also what you were saying, baby, about um, you know when we eventually came back together and said this is what we want to do. I'm so grateful that our vision was so aligned, right? But I think the biggest thing was that this thing is bigger than us. Hundred percent. It is so much bigger than Larato and Peto. It's so much bigger than what we thought it was right and the responsibility can be overwhelming right um but i think in this season we're also understanding that to whom much is given much is required yeah because we've been entrusted we believe that we've been entrusted with this platform so when Lerato was speaking about the sleepless hours that we've spent trying to bring this to, to you and the investment the monetary investment that we put into this project because we thought you know what if we're gonna do this we're gonna do it right and i was so humbled because a lot of things that could have gone wrong they went, went wrong, wrong yeah. you know yeah. but i'm just so grateful to our community because you know that we have a spirit of excellence mm. you know that we want to give you the best quality production and there were things that you know we were not thrilled about and our community did not hop on about them yeah right but there were one of few people that one of, did i say one of you one, one or two, two yeah. people that dm'd me to complain about one or two things well one thing in particular and i was really touched I was really, really touched because we are the first person, whatever you think, let's say if you're watching one of these installments, whatever you feel like is not perfect, we picked it up before you did. Trust. Yeah. Because we, we are perfectionists. Like we know. We are perfectionists. And yeah. I think in this season, God taught us that, you know what, he's a God of excellence, but... Um, Sometimes excellence is not perfection, right? Excellence is not perfection. Excellence is I not perfection. That. We I love that. Yeah. Look, I know I reference this verse a lot, but I think I'm going to bring it back now. Um, the verse that says, delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good desire that we want to grow. Yeah. You know, I think that's God's desire for us. And so, yes, we've got this burning that we're just like, man, you know, can we grow? Can we see more impact? Can we touch more lives? I don't think, you know what I mean? I don't think yeah. it's 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 frivolous. Um, I don't think it's selfish. I don't think it's something that we are looking at from a fleshly point of view, mm -hmm. but more from, okay, Lord, we've seen what you can do. Can you please position us in the right place so that we can do your will so that you'll be able to touch even more lives yeah. you know what i mean and you'll be yeah. able to do even more so yeah i just want to give perspective on that i think it's a good thing yeah yeah and i think just in terms of the vision for where we want to take here as a thought as much as we are a couple that you know is invested a lot in marriages and we love the ministry of marriage so what we want to do is that we want to there's a saying that says um it's easier to what does it say, baby? It's <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for my come on, what does it say? It's easier to build strong build men. Build st strong strong children. Strong sorry. children than to heal broken men. That's right? right. So our focus is yes, we, 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 we might have, you know, a lot more couples on the installments, but we will it's 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 about relationships. So we wanna tackle 
issues that could affect people relationally, you know, a mom and daughter relationship, mom and son, dad and son, sister, sister, um, because we Brother, do, be- sister, yeah, we do believe the that the, the foundation of, of healthy communities and healthy society starts with the family, with relationships rather. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And if you can take care of the household, then you can take care of community, you take care of community, you take care yeah. of society, you take care of society. Then the church is actually making a difference. Exactly. Right. Um, and really it just starts from, from the little things. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, uh, when we talk about success, right, we talk about habits mm. and it's not about the big things right it's about okay are you able to consistently um be disciplined about yeah. waking up in the morning about making sure that you go to the gym about making sure that you know your, your kids know what is expected of them in their home and the goalpost isn't constantly shifting yeah. right which gives them a sense of security which means that when they go out into the world they've got the necessary tools to make sure that they're able to be successful out there in the world mm. and then once they've made a success of themselves in the world people might ask them well what is your secret and that secret is actually going to be in the things that you teach them inside the home yeah no but yeah. babe i'm really you know humbled i think for me this experience also took care of my ego mm. because sometimes what it what we put out there we put it out because we want it to be celebrated right mm. we want people to enjoy it as much as we enjoyed creating it but i think <clears throat> when things started in the background guys we went through a lot in the background mm. so when things started falling apart 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 yeah. in the background i was <clears throat> reminded that this is really not about me i mean there were certain decisions that we had to make to say are we going to put out this installment are we going to hold it back because it's not where we want it to be but then I, I said to Larata, I was like, you know what? We would be doing an injustice to the kingdom. We'd be an injustice to, we would be doing an injustice to people that need to be healed and mm. ministered to because of our ego. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. So at what point yeah. are we going to talk about the installment? <laughs> are we going to talk about it now? Okay, So cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, looking at the title, they're no, like, I thought... No, the title's going to be different. Guys, you know okay. we do this. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Holy Spirit late, no, right? Yini, no, I not no my yini, but I feel like yeah. we are late, right? I got you. I got so, you. So, babe, what was your takeaway from Cabello and Morales' installment? First of all, thank you so much, Cabello and Morales, for being here and for just being generous with your time. Guys, do you know how many people cancelled... <laughs> Because <laughs> you know, because yeah. you know, people have their faves that they want. We have requests in the DMs that are like, oh, please bring uh, Sia Khaleesi, you know, mm. <laughs> oh, and Rachel Khaleesi, or whatever. But guys, people are busy, people are busy, yeah. and sometimes life happens, then they have to cancel mm. and not you know, live up to their commitment. Mm. We we had to deal with some of that. Yeah. But Gavelo and Mahala, thank you so much. Yeah, I want to yeah. say to you guys, firstly, thank you for being who you are. Yeah. You know, I think you're really incredible people. And Definitely. I think one of the greatest gifts for us um, has been this opportunity to engage with you through this podcast. Yeah. Because I think having um, had the conversations that we've had post-shooting, uh, it really... You guys, you guys are amazing, man. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Um, Gabelo and Mohali, you guys are amazing. So Gen- thank you. Genuinely really, so. Really, really genuine genuinely. people. So, yeah. so, so thank you first and foremost uh, for just being who you are. Yeah. Um, I had so many takeaways. So let me just maybe start with one mm-hmm. uh, and we can chop it up. Mm-hmm. Um, the character of God, man. Ah, mm. oh, that, that's something that I took away with me. Gabelo, um, actually, it, Gabelo ended up uh, embellishing on what Mohale was saying, yeah. but it was when they were speaking about how you don't engage with people based on what they do. Yes. You engage with people based on who you are, mm. because that's what God, that's who God is, and we are made in his image. And so I went away and I was thinking a lot about that to say, wow. It's so easy to be get to 
say to be get. It's so easy to get caught up mm. in offense, right? And and that offense makes you move differently. It makes you reason differently. And before you know it, you're a shadow of yourself. You've yeah. got no clue who you are, what your convictions are, uh, where your heart is about certain things because you're offended. Mm. But the beautiful thing about God is he loves us regardless. Yeah. Regardless of our sin, regardless of um, our our mistakes, regardless of falling short, God is so good that He remains the same, and 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 there isn't any inch of love that He loses for you because of your actions. Oh. And then I thought about my marriage, and I thought about my wife, and I thought about some of the the difficult seasons we've been through, and I've thought I've thought about some of the great seasons we've been through, mm. and I was just like, how consistent am I in taking heed of who I am, mm. regardless of how offended I feel, regardless of how disrespected I feel, regardless of how respected I feel. You know what I'm saying? Am I now going to love her more when I feel respected? Do I love her less when I feel uh, disrespected? Or am I standing in a place of uh, submitting myself to God's commandment? And the commandment that God gave me is love your wife and it is as unconditional christ love your wife church. as christ loved the church <laughs> mm. again i said this in the episode but it's just that reminder that or rather it was it was adding on to that point you know when they spoke about it to say but when you love your wife mm. is it really unconditional mm. and 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 it being unconditional is 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 based on the idea of character of the character of God, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah, and that, that's something that was really sure. impactful to me. I think for me, what was really impactful was, I, don't, I can't remember if it was on the same day after we shot or as we've been engaging with them after um, the conversation. But I remember saying to them that, you know, we went through a hard time when we got married, right? But... We had we were afforded the um, sort of the space and the luxury mm. to not doing to not do it while we have a platform such as this. For sure, right? And um, the reality is, Gabelo and Mukhale are a people that have Public platforms figures. as well, mm. right? Where uh, um, they do share a bit of their lives on 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 different platforms and so forth and so on. So I couldn't imagine how it was navigating the season of their lives while they are healing and um vulnerable. You know, vulnerable and allowing god to restore and do you know what i mean so for me i was just like yo i genuinely take off my head to you guys and for you to come onto this platform and talk about it while you are going through it right because it, yeah. a lot of us wait you know we'll come on this platform and say yo you know yeah five years five ago, years ago right years and, ago. and i think it's because of the shame um, a lot of us want to paint a picture of perfection. A lot of us, um, we carry shame when things don't go perfectly because we yeah. live in a world that paints a picture of perfection. And mm. when things aren't perfect, we're just like, now, mm. you know, it's like that thing, who's going to know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. They'll, you, do you know what yeah. I mean? So I think for me, I have such a huge respect. And we were going through the comments. Guys, we read all the comments. Um and it was so evident what God is doing with this installment, mm -hmm. right? Where people are getting healed, people are getting, marriages are getting restored, people are self-introspecting, mm -hmm. right? And can you imagine if they allowed their fear or their shame um, to, to uh, what's the word, to stand in the way of sharing this testimony. And I think Gabriela said it, she was like, you know, she was a bit nervous, right, about sharing because, you know, the enemy will say, oh, so you think you've, you, you've, you've overcome, right? And we are reminded that the Bible says that, in Revelation says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And for me, it's also a, a great testament to give gratitude because when you testify, you're giving gratitude to say, Lord, we see your hand. We are victorious and we're standing we and we have overcome. And I, and I think sometimes because she also spoke about how 
instant the restoration was. So sometimes we think it's that hard to believe. it's hard to believe that Too good God to be true. Can, can, that God can restore like like God is a God of suddenlies. Yeah, He can restore suddenly. He can heal suddenly. He can forgive suddenly. He can provide suddenly. And For I sure. think a lot of us struggle with that with that God of suddenlies because mm. we're so used to to I don't know maybe we're used to waiting also and we think that no it can't possibly. It can't be that easy, mm. right? Yeah. It, it just can't be yeah. that easy. So that is one of the biggest lessons for me, you know, that I took from this installment. And I think when, um, I mean, there was just, there was just a lot, you know, and when Kabbalah mm. spoke about vulnerability. Okay, can well, I, can I weigh in on what you said before yes, you get to yes, vulnerability? Yes, yeah, because yeah. I wanted to add on to it. Mm. You know, um, you spoke about shame and you mentioned fear, but I just wanted to camp on fear a little mm. bit because the thing about fear is, so the Bible says that, um, uh, God has not given us a spirit of fear, mm. but of power, oh, love, love and, and a sound mind. mind. And that's, that's what was resonating yes. throughout that episode for me because I was like, once you can overcome that fear, and when I say that fear, I'm talking about the enemy. Once you can overcome the enemy, right? Mm. And these thoughts that are in your mind of what if, right? Mm. And, and, you, and you can cast it aside and say, okay, all I felt from them was power, mm. love, and a, and a sound, sound mind. mind. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Um, gosh, I don't even know what I was going to say about Vulnerability. vulnerability. I can't remember what my point was. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. But, um, yeah, I think you can... Okay. <laughs> Guys, my husband likes to interrupt me and then I lose my... No, it's course. just that you were going now to another <laughs> thing, you know, and I was like, okay, let's let's wrap this one up. But I think um, before before you, you go on to... I'll think about what my point was regarding vulnerability, but I also really want to thank um, them for... Really showing us that marriage is not disposable when things get hard. Do you know what I mean? So I think a lot of people, we always say that a lot of people give up in those formative years, like between year one and five. Mm. That's where for some of us, you know what I mean? I know some people have had it very easy in the beginning, but for some of us who've really struggled in the beginning, that's when a lot of us give up. And then that now looking back, we're like, Babe, thank you for not giving up on this because mm. because we would have missed out mm. on this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And thank you for not giving up on me. Oh. You know because because you're right. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. When I shudder to think, you know, where, where you would I would be. be without <laughs> without my wife like that's oh, I love just you. the thought is crazy man yeah you know you asked me a question earlier on mm. um about men that um don't want to spend time with their kids how did mm. you how did you phrase it do you remember how you phrased it i think i said what makes certain men not want to spend time with their kids yeah yeah be yeah. present yeah 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 and and i said and I said to you, they don't know what they're missing. Yeah. And you were like, what do you mean by that? Let me explain. Okay. Right? <laughs> so, um, you don't know what you don't know. When you choose something else outside of your family, it's because you know what you're getting from it. Yeah. Very often, a lot of us aren't in this long enough or have not invested enough in it to have tasted the value mm -hmm. of it, right? For it to move our hearts to mm -hmm. a place where we're like, why would I possibly choose anything else? Because I think as human beings, generally, we're good people. Mm -hmm. And we would choose good if we knew that there was value in the good, right? If we had an experience of that, 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 um, I don't know what happens to your brain or whatever you right? Um, yeah. Like spending time with my kids and, and you go to bed and you're tired and that fulfillment that you feel like, wow, mm. this was amazing. You know, um, you would choose that more times than not. And so I think that's why I'm saying uh, they don't know what they're missing mm. because they don't know what it is that they're missing because they haven't quite experienced it. And I'm, I'm talking about this because to talk about, um, 
when Gabelo was talking about Morale as a dad, mm. right? And just how present he is yeah. and how um and how he speaks to him like like a king, you mm-hmm. know, like the man that he is. And you know, that was something else for me. It was a reminder for me that man you know, you're going to hear this in one of the other installments, you know, but just the importance of your position yeah. as a parent, mm. you know, and, 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 and the vulnerability it takes and the value that there is in it and, and um, how it's part of God's design and how we are the custodians mm. of these kids, man. John. You know, and if we're talking about building relationships to heal society and community and mm. all of that stuff, let's not forget the importance of parenting, um, especially to dads, guys. Yeah. Like, we got to do better, man. Yeah. We got to do better. When I get to sit across the table from a gent who, who gets it, like it fills me with so much joy and I, mm. and I and I think you know I'd like to be I'd like to be one of those guys that puts their hands up to say look I'll 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 spread the message yeah. about this you know to say be present be there you know mm. there are a lot of things that um you know if you if if you build strong children um you know then you're not going to have to heal broken men right mm. broken ladies we're talking about men in a right just a general Broken people, yes. broken adults, you know, um, and I think there are a lot of broken adults really because of the lack of parenting. Mm. I'm not talking about the lack of having a mother and father in the house. I'm talking about parenting. Yeah. I'm talking about actively, actively parenting, mm. being there, supporting, rebuking, correcting, encouraging. We, we got to be there, mm. man. So I think one, you know, yo, this installment challenged me so much. So when mm. Gabelo was speaking about withholding love, um, when, you know, they're not agreeing. in a good space or mm. not agreeing, it made me think about, because you don't intentionally think that you're withholding love, right? Because we look at love as affection. We look at love as, I kissed you this morning, or... I had I you, you this flowers. morning or I bought you flowers. But affection in the simplest of things, you know, where I am used to offering you a cup of coffee when I make myself a cup of coffee, but because there's tension in the house, I don't offer you a cup of coffee. That's a withholding of of love. Or right? asking how are you? Or, or, or asking how are you, right? But I, I find that we also do it with friends with family where you might not be in agreement with your mom or your sister or a friend and now you're not calling them yeah right because you're used to and i i I, i'll be the first one to say i'm one person if i'm not in a good space with people generally i do not engage engage them them because because i feel like they will see Mm. that we're not okay. I can go right the way. Yeah, and yeah. I can go the way. Do you know what I mean? But that is also a form of withholding love because you calling someone, you checking up on someone is an act of love. So, 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 so that So that really, really, really challenged me and I've been grappling with it because often we feel justified when someone does us wrong or... Or when there's a disagreement, you feel like, no, but you did me wrong. Why should I overextend myself? Mm. So that's a tough one for me because I'm used to just, I I need space. Mm. I need space when I'm not okay with someone. And then, because I want a second half. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's got a lot to do with expectation. Um, Mm. And this is what I do, um, and I'm being challenged right now because I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. Um, I don't have expectations from people because I'm very vulnerable to hurt. Okay. Right? So I manage my expectation by not having any expectations of you. However, I have expectations of myself, right? Going back to the character thing that says, well, who are you, right? 
and this is how I love and I'm also not going to allow what you do to dictate to me how I'm going to love. I think, right? I think you think you've got, you don't have expectations, but deep down you do. Well, let me finish. Okay. Cool. Right. So, <laughs> so, so, so this is, so this is what I'll do, right? I'll, I'll say, look, I, I don't, I don't, this, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to call you. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And very often when it's reciprocated, mm -hmm. then I'm a bit thrown because I don't know where to place it. Why? Because if you are like that to me, mm -hmm. then I have an expectation because it feels so good. Okay. Right. And I don't want to be hurt. So I still have a, a like a, a, like I struggle to let people in, okay. like really let people in, right? Because I'm just like, I I don't want to give you access to that part of me because in my mind I don't want it to affect how I relate to you. Now this is where I'm being challenged. If I'm not really letting you in, <coughs> then can I really say that I'm loving you completely? you know yeah. that's kind of where it's it because for me then then i've put up a wall right mm -hmm. i've kind of said okay you can access this but you can't access this and i i suppose there's a there's a there's a there's a lot of uh it, it's kind of like on a superficial level right to say no i help you you don't help me mm -hmm. no i call you you don't call me no i show up for you you don't show up for me mm -hmm. right and you can almost get into a um uh, a, a, a righteousness about you, you know, to say, no, but it's cool. I'll, ugh, don't worry about it. No, don't worry. I'm good, homie. How are you? No, I'm checking up on you. I'm right. Mm -hmm. And you're not allowing yourself to be loved. But I think, you know? I think it's also a trust issue. It, it, no, it, it's definitely, that's what I said. Did you say that? that it's I trust? may as well have. <laughs> yes, but, but I think yeah, yeah, to sum yeah. it up, it's, it's, a, it's a trust issue because, it's also, you know, a case of, can I trust this person with my heart? Right. Right. So I feel like, and, and also even when you feel like you can trust someone with your heart, I mean, you feel like you can trust me with my, with your heart. Right. But there are certain instances where I let you down mm. because I'm human mm. and I'm fallible. Right. But anyway, there's another point that I wanted oh, to okay. make. Cool. I wanted to make the point about, cause we still, um, you know, I just want this final thought to be about, you know, obviously the nuggets that we got from the episode. So I think when, when, um, what I loved also about Mohale and Cabello, I think it's the self-awareness. Mm. You know, a lot of us walk through life blindly. You know, we are not aware of what it is that God needs to weed out. You know, it might not be easy to allow God to weed it out, but the first um, sign of recovery is really admitting that this is my, my, uh, my weakness. I am mm -hmm. weak in this area. And I found that they are so aware of where their weaknesses are, which, you know, gives God an opportunity to work on those weaknesses because heal, for me yeah. i feel like when you when you are um uh, open about your weaknesses it's a form of surrender as well to say lord i lay this down yeah you know i it. lay this this issue down take it you know i loved um when when mohale spoke about when god corrected mohale i said mohale <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> when he spoke about when God had to deal with his bad mouth and, um, you know, and he, he was like, yo, how can the same mouth that praises God be the same mouth that tears, tears their down. partner down, you know? And I think a lot of us do that mm. with these same mouths. We complain. Um, we are cynical. Like just 30 minutes ago, Lerato told me that I'm a very cynical with this same First, mouth. I didn't say very. Yeah, but Let's you stop said there. it. Because um, <laughs> the drama. <laughs> very cynical. I said you can be. But, but with these mouths, yeah. you know, we, we do a lot with these mouths. It yeah. might not be 
cursing or but the stuff that we say with these mouths you know are, aren't always building and i think for me i was just really challenged because some things you just do it habitually you complain about the weather it's cold you complain it's hot you complain you've got a job you complain that you're working long hours you've got a husband you complain that he's one two many three complaints <laughs> you've got many kids complaints. Yeah. You complain that, you know, like now we are expecting uh, another baby. We're going to be complaining that we're not sleeping. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I think it was really a word for me to say, watch your mouth. My, my wife was, was complaining about her belly. What That's about That's what it? happened. What was I complaining and about? I said, and I and said, she was, said, it's going oh, get it's, it so big. It's so big. <laughs> and I said to her, yeah, if it was small, you would have been saying, but it's so small. Why is the baby not developing? I said, praise God, man. It's big, good. It means yeah. that the baby's healthy. And, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, but I think, yeah. baby, in, in closing, take this home. I feel like okay <laughs> guys thank you so much for joining no, us no 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 not like that your final thoughts oh <laughs> no i don't know no, no you know i wouldn't do that your final okay. thoughts um um yeah man i think my final thought is just um i feel like after a lot of conversations i'm really going to be saying this mm. um but my final thought is Choose Christ. <laughs> yeah. You know, choose Christ, guys. Um, I, so I, I, often, I often use this analogy when I talk to a lot of guys on the phone. So I've got a habit of like checking in on, on particularly the men in my life, you know, and, mm. and we get on the phone. So a lot of the conversations that I would have with them would be around, I feel like as men, it's like we wake up and we're in the middle of a war. Mm. and we quickly realize that there's dust flying all around. People are fighting. First, you're not quite sure where you are, and you don't know what's happening, and you've got no shield, you've got no armor, you've got no weapons, you, you've got nothing. And really, the first thing we do is run, you know? And this is what a lot of men do. Like, we run. Mm. But there's so much value in being in a place like Gabelo and Mohale, where you're, you're allowed to take a step back and go and get the tools, mm. go and get the armor and say, okay, we're here now. Let's fight, man. Mm. Let's fight because what we have is worth fighting for. Is worth fighting for. And really, even for them, as, as much as we're walking away and we're going, we realize that this is not about us. They, them being there was them recognizing that it's not about yeah. them. It's yeah. got nothing to do with them. Because they could have chosen not to tell right. what, what they were you know? going through. Yeah. And, and, and our, our conversations afterwards are indicative of the idea that even they had no clue what kind of chains would be broken yes. because of their story? You know, the conversation that we have on the phone, they're like, man, we're blown away. Mm. But I love that at the end of the day, we're all in agreement about one thing. God is good. And God is moving. You know, God is moving and God yeah. is good. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, the humility to say, wow, and he, and he chose us yes. in this moment to touch somebody. Mm. And if we could tell you about the inboxes that, we're getting, oh. if we could tell you about the, how, how, so we don't share names or anything, right? But when we speak, mm. you know, we'll compare testimonies, right? To say, yo, there was a lady, we won't tell you who it is, but, you know, she wrote this and she said this and, you know, and we're just like, wow, man, look yeah. at God, like, look at God. And so ultimately, I thank God. I thank uh, Morale and Gabelo mm. uh, for their vulnerability, for coming through, saying what they said, did what they did. And um, I'm grateful to you guys for your love and affection. So thank you guys so much for your love, for your prayers, for your um, commitment to our channel. We love you. We appreciate you. We see your comments. We read them all yeah. and they minister to us. And as I was saying before, you know, 
even when we don't respond, the comments are not for us. We are building a community. When you share your testimony on our timeline, it's ministering to someone else. So, yeah. And we love you. We love you. You know why, what it why is? Why did you have a smile? Because I love you. Oh. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. You had that weird, weird smile. You guys will tell me. And just rewind quickly and let me know about this weird smell. Yeah. You know what it is, guys. Thanks so much. We appreciate you. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on that notification bell to know every single time we upload a new installment. One time, two real. Oh, oh yes. yes. I love you. I love you. Bye, guys. We love you. Bye.